Hi everyone. Welcome to the second video of ArcGIS GeoBeam video series. My name is Sepide and I'm a technical solution specialist at ISRI Canada. In this demo, I will highlight three tips for preparing your data for ArcGIS GeoBeam apps. First, I will show you how to connect to Beam360 directly from ArcGIS Pro. Second, I will show you how you can geolocate your model to the proper location. And third, I will show you how you can publish your model to ArcGIS Online as a building scene layer package. So let's start with the first tip, connecting to Beam360 using Beam Cloud connection functionality in ArcGIS Pro. On the insert ribbon, you can find a Beam Cloud connection tool to establish a connection to the Beam360 Cloud repository. We are required to provide our Autodesk user login credentials for this connection. This connection let us browse Revit model or Civil 3D in the catalog pane. After establishing the connection, we can easily download our Revit models into the ArcGIS Pro project. These downloaded items are linked to the original item in the Beam Cloud repository. Now let's move on to the second tip where we can validate the position of the beam model before adding it to the map display. The property dialog box offers the options for refreshing, operating, and opening beam and CAD files in Revit or Civil 3D. Also, you can analyze the special positioning information of your file. If the beam file doesn't have a design coordinate system and word file transform in the validate position tab, you can assign them to our file to accurately place beam data in the map display. However, ISRI recommends assigning an appropriate coordinate system in Revit before using and importing beam data in ArcGIS Pro. Also, any beam file should have the project address property, but if the address is missing, you can suggest the approximated extent of the beam data using the Suggest Location button. Here you can use the Locator tool to find a city name or street address. After reassigning the project address and projected coordinate system, we can add our beam model to the map display. Since our file has the correct special information, it will be drawn in the right location. ArcGIS Pro reads beam files as a beam file workspace that includes architectural, structural, electrical, mechanical, and piping disciplines. At this step, ArcGIS Pro will automatically populate a new field called shared view in the attribute table of each layer. This field contains the URL of the document in the BIM360. This is the link to the sheets and views page URL of your BIM model. I just wanted to highlight that all the features in the model has this shared view attribute field. In the following demo, I will show you how you will use this field to configure the ArcGIS GeoBIM apps. Now let's move on to our last tip where I show you the tools that you need to create a building scene layer package from our model and publish it to ArcGIS Online. Create building scene layer content tool will create a building scene layer package from your beam file. I've already run this tool, so let me show you the parameters. This tool uses this building layer as an input. For the output, you can save your package on your desktop. After you save your building scene layer package on your desktop, you can use the share package tool to upload and publish your SLPK file to ArcGIS Online. Here, we should enable the option of publish web layer to publish scene layer in ArcGIS Online. And since I've already run this tool, it gives me the exclamation notice. So I don't republish it to ArcGIS Online again. Now our scene layer is ready to be consumed in ArcGIS GeoBeam. In the following demo, I will show you how you can link your web scenes in ArcGIS GeoBeam apps and configure your first ArcGIS GeoBeam application. Thank you for joining me in this second video.